Hi there, it's Michelle Eaton from MichelleEaton.com and in this video we're going to look at how we can import videos into iMovie that we have on our iPad or iPhone without using iTunes. Now I've opened my iCloud photos and all the recordings I've done that I want today, the video and photos are all here. So anything I've recorded on my iPhone, my iPad Pro or my other iPad will all be here. I still want uploading at the moment, so that's great. Everything is there. There was one recording I did that was on my old Kodak ZI8, and you can't upload that as far as I can gather. We can't upload video footage up to iCloud to access it on my phone or iPad to edit in iMovie, which is what I want to do. So, what I'm going to do is come over to Google Drive. I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to call it temp video because once I've used it I want to delete it from here and not fill up my Google Drive so created the folder temp video so I'm going to open that and now I'm going to find the files that I want and I just want those last two bits of movie footage so I'm going to drag those into that folder so now we're looking at the screen of my iPad and obviously you need to have Google Drive installed and iMovie installed. Now first of all let's have a look in Google Drive. So I'm tapping Google Drive see if we can see our new folder. There it is. For just the ones uploaded at the moment we're waiting for the other one to continue. So that's good we've got that there. Temp video. And the other thing we need to check is that in iMovie you get the little arrow pointing down into a box at the top it defaults to recents so if we select at the bottom right browse and then at the top locations you can see we've got the iCloud Drive and Google Drive so in Google Drive there let's find temp temp video if we tap that I don't know if we can drag that No. So what we need to do is come back to Drive. So the one is uploaded. If we click the three dots to the right, we can select Open In, and there we see it's preparing to export. And now we can select Copy to iMovie. And it brings it in straight into the timeline. Now we can see we've got the second one. So now if we click the three little dots next to that one, we say open in. Again we have to wait. So now with the second with the second video footage I've done this with, now I get the option to create a new movie or to add it to the movie that was created automatically with my last import. So I'm going to select my movie. And now you can see the two pieces of footage are being imported in to my movie. So here we are in my iCloud. Um, and this is the footage I took with my iDevices. I go to upload photos. The only option we get is JPEGs, JPEG photographs. I've got other files here. I've got a PNG. That won't load. There is a problem uploading one file. Only files in JPEG format can be uploaded. So in iCloud itself, we've only got the option of JPEGs. So what we need to do is use iCloud Drive and go to upload. Now we can upload all four. So that's now shared in iCloud Drive. So now if I stop that share and what I need to do now is share my screen of my iPad. So 
two files we've got recent and we've got browse and now if I look in iCloud Drive there they are Keto Logo Portsmouth IMG 5188 so now they're in Drive what we can do is open iMovie click the little arrow at the top and there they are okay so what we need to do it's the same as when we do it with Google Drive find it in the files image 5188 then click that one and then we can either save the video down here which will save it to our um, our photos our iPad or we can copy to iMovie let's have a look if we can save it to our camera roll first of all and now let's have a look in our photos yep that's it there it is cool so that's now in our camera roll we come back to iMovie and look in video Now you can see that we can create the movie straight from within iMovie. Next we're going to go back to iCloud Drive to import the movie. Image 5188. Copy to iMovie. Then I can add it to the last project, create a new one. I'm going to create a new one. There it is. In my timeline ready for editing. So I hope that was helpful. I believe you can do exactly the same with Dropbox. If you upload to Dropbox on your computer and then you put the Dropbox app on your phone or iPad, then you can do exactly the same process as we did with iCloud Drive and Google Drive. So I'll catch you later and see you in the next one.